Welcome back to the Sleepy Keys Tingle Network. Today, we are showcasing the most wonderful and largest collection yet. It is our Delphs Blue Ceramic Hand Painted, Hand Crafted Salt and Pepper Collection. Now, this collection features seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different salt and pepper shakers that could be yours today for the low price of $29.99. Now, I do want to go through each one of these salt and pepper shakers to show a few more details, talk a little bit about each one. Um, but honestly, before we get started, I did just want to talk a little bit about the Delft Blue pieces here. So, Delft Blue is actually Dutch earthenware, as we can see by some of the themes here with the windmills, the couple, uh, and the clog shoes as well. So this is pottery and it's been glazed in such a way that um, I guess they, it's called a tin glaze and it gives the pieces this glossy white finish while also turning the um, blue, which was black, uh, into this uh, signature Delft rich blue color. So these pieces are all stunning, all shiny and just what a lovely addition to add to your salt and pepper collection. So, starting off, I think, you know, I think there's so many that are my favorites in here, but um, honestly, I feel like, I feel like I want to start with these showstoppers right here. This lovely little ceramic uh, white and blue Dutch couple. So, take a look at these two. This couple um, is really beautifully handcrafted, where you've got the fellow here who's a bit rotund, um, and then he's wearing a lovely darker blue bow and a hat. And then the lady here she's got a little crown emblem on the bottom. I believe that's part of the uh, crafts mark. And then she's got a little apron on, she's crossing her little hands, and goes up into her very detailed hair, the bow on her apron, and this beautiful accented um, Dutch hat on the top as well. So, these two, um, they have a sturdy base, so they're not going to be sliding around on your table, but they will be offering a lot of adorable whimsy. So, you do have to pick with these two. We've got the lady here uh, as holding your salt, and then the fellow here has three holes atop his hat for pepper. How beautiful is that? So, I feel like this is really a standout piece in the set because, um, you know, this couple really embodies the Delft Blue, uh, you know, style here, but also a, a nod to, I guess, uh, Dutch culture as well. So, um, starting off with this one, uh, moving along, I'm going to go right into these beautiful beautifully hand-painted Holland pieces right here. Now, you know what I'm going to say. Yes, these have a sturdy base, but you know what they also have? Handles. And the print on these, or rather the hand-painted details, is really something. We have um, a little Dutch scene. So it's like a field in Holland where you've got this beautiful, beautiful windmill detail, some clouds, a little bit of water, or perhaps a flooded field, and then a couple of birds on the corner. Same motif on this one as well, so they are identical. And then on the top you have four of these uh, sort of floral accents going around into where the salt and pepper comes from. In this case, three holes for your pepper and two for salt. And then there's even a little blue sort of patterned um, oh, accents on the handles and then going around to the back, the most beautiful floral detail. So 
they also say Holland. So this is really a piece that is a nod to the location. Um, and it has this beautiful Delft blue uh, artistry, hand-painted details. Um, and such a whimsical scene here as well. And then, you know, when you've got the little handles, you just pour on the flavor. It's so cute. Um, and then these have fairly large rubber stoppers as well. So you can fit a good amount of salt and pepper in these. Uh, so you're not going to have to keep refilling. Um, but now the next ones, you're not going to fit in at quite as much um, salt and pepper. But how cute is this? We have a set of salt and pepper clogs. Now, these aren't shoes that you wear. These are shoes for salt and pepper on your table. And, um, well, that's the wrong configuration. There we go. So you have one, two, three, three for your salt and two for pepper. But in this case, you know, I guess because these are um, from Holland, they're going to do a little bit more uh, for, for the salt intake uh, versus the uh, different. And that's why you've got three for salt and two for pepper. But it might be a little confusing if you wanted to switch because these do have a um, indicator on them. So P for pepper, S for salt. So you might as well stick with um, how they're labeled. But you've got the beautiful clogs and you can see the um, sort of maker's mark in here where it's uh, mentioning Delft's blue and it says Holland and then the little crown on the top as well so that's how you know that these are authenticated uh, so these are authentic Delft blue salt and pepper shaker clogs um, I love the fact that these can be on your table and someone will say can you can you pass me the salt and pepper and then you say sure and you clog them right over. You could do a little traditional dance. I, I don't really know how, but, um, you know, so that adds a lot of fun and whimsy and a reason why I'd want to have this pair out at least a few times during the year. Um, yeah, so you got your salt and pepper shoes and then these also have a you know similar motif in the beautiful Delft's blue where you've got a windmill and the windmill blades go all the way up to the top and then these sort of almost stitch accents here where it's yeah and then the side says holland as well so look at that Again, there's a lot of good configurations for, um, you know, a Dutch clog salt and pepper shaker. You could get crazy with it and try not to do that. Um, I like the uh, orientation where you've got the proper shoe on the proper foot. I guess you could do heel to heel. Uh, staggered, like so. Or uh, wrong feet. You ever put your shoes on the wrong foot? so embarrassing. Not that I've gone out of the house like that, but it happens every once in a while. Um, but I, I think this is the right way to do it. How cute is that? Okay, well this is probably my favorite set. Wait, no, it's the couple. Wait, actually we haven't gotten to it yet. Next up, these are very beautiful and uh, robust salt and pepper shakers. Now, We've had a number of um, sort of eggs on the Sleepy Keys Tingle Network before. You think, why didn't I see these on the eggs? Well, they're not exactly an egg. It just alludes to an egg shape, right? So with these, we've got, honestly, I think one of the most beautiful and intricate um, hand-painted designs here that the epitome of the Delft's Blue, the beautiful flowers, intricate details, lots of gorgeous blue colors and tones in here and then it's identical on the other pepper shaker so the back not a lot going on it does look like a hard-boiled egg there but you turn them to the front and it's so beautiful now these are fairly large so they're gonna hold 
quite a bit of salt and pepper for you. And in this case, um, you've got um, one, two, three, four, five. You've got five holes on the top for both your salt and pepper. So really it's up to you. Now, if these were on your tabletop and they've got identical designs, identical number of holes, um, how are you gonna know which is which? Well, it's hard to see, but I think these holes are slightly bigger. I can't be sure though. So, you know what I would do? To be on the safe side, I would always put the salt to my right and the pepper to my left. Or you just pour a little bit in your hand first. It's really not a big deal. And that way you know what's what. So there's that. Then, oh, next up we have, okay, I think these really are my favorite in the set. How could they not be? We're looking at two Delft's Blue Frogs. Now, we've had a frog before on the Sleepy Keys Tingle Network, and it was Neil. These are non-name brand frogs, but they are so beautiful. So, you can see, this frog um, has a gorgeous, shiny, white uh, ceramic finish, and then the signature Delft's Blue design with uh, whimsical polka dots on the legs, fun little mouth, um, two expressive eyes, but not too expressive, and then lots of gorgeous, gorgeous detailed uh, floral uh, embellishments that have been painted on there. Now, I love the spots on these frogs. I think that really sets it apart because when I'm thinking about a frog, I'm thinking about spots, toads, um, you know, different markings on them, which make them... Um, easy to identify what kind of amphibian is this. But in this case, these two are Delft's blue frogs. They don't exist anywhere, uh, you know, in nature, but they can exist on your dinner table as salt and pepper shakers. Now, configuration-wise, look at them, look at them looking at each other. I, it's like they're having a frog uh, staring contest, right? I could see it being a situation where I'm staring at the frogs and the frogs are having a staring contest. And, you know, not a lot of dinner gets eaten because we're all just frozen. But you know what I mean. Um, they could be kissing. You know, I love it when salt and pepper shakers can kiss. Um, you know, I don't, going back to these two, I think these two are a bit too rotund to kiss. You'd have to lean them in for a smooch, right? Um, but these two can kiss. Right? Well, frog kisses. But you know, frogs with their long tongues, they could probably kiss from over here. You know what I mean? Anyways, and then they could also be kind of at a 45 degree angle, looking either direction. Sturdy bases. Or um, rump to rump. <laughs> looking at either direction. Or perhaps, you know, one this way, one that way. Either way, um, these frogs are a must-have for your salt and pepper collection. Look at that face. Uh, so, you know, if for no other reason you get this collection, I think one, it's because you're going to want to have these frogs. But I can see where you might have a frog lover in your life, and you get the set, you gift some of the other ones, but then you keep the frogs for yourself, right? or vice versa. Um, Yes, so all the fun of an amphibian on your tablescape, but without the shrieks. <laughs> Next up. Oh. Okay, speaking of rotund, <clears throat> these pigs, you might say, oh, Sleepy Keys Tingle Network, where in the heck were these swines when you had your pig and out collection? That's because... These are Delft's blue pigs. Look at that. These pigs have so much class. I don't even think of a farm. I think of elegance. I think of um, beautiful Dutch whimsy when I think of these Delft's blue uh, pigs. They're almost, they're almost as cute as piglets. Again, we've got um, beautiful noses and um, not too 
too expressive eyes, but somewhat expressive. Uh, the little shading in the ears, which really adds to the depth. And on one side, you have a beautiful windmill. Very important in a, a Delft's Blue piece. And on the other side, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful floral pattern here with... Um, 22 sort of floral flourishes and then a big flower in the middle um, but look at this windmill this one in particular oh, you can really see the wind they've added detail in such a way that you've got the actual windmill itself but then swirling swirling wow wind that is propelling those uh, blades of the of the actual windmill um, to do its milling. Now, <clears throat> I love a snoot to snoot configuration. You might be wondering, well, where does the salt and pepper come from? We've got one hole in this snout for your salt and two in this snout for your pepper. So, how fun would that be? <clears throat> um, and it's almost like they're smiling. They're somewhat expressive. There's just this little dimple in these pig cheeks, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, but look at that. Snap to snap. On your table, it's up. Very cute. So much whimsy. And I really like how in that configuration you can see uh, both the windmill um, imagery and the flower. Um, maybe they're just kind of cheek to cheek. Oh, that's very cute. Sturdy base. Look at that. They got feet. And the feet are low to the ground, so these aren't going to topple over. Very important. Um, maybe if we just did rump. Rump roast. Little tails. So cute. These, these are going to be a hit on any table, any time of year. Um, and the fact that they've got the beautiful white ceramic Delft's Blue pattern um, really makes them um, versatile for any tablescape that you might have. On the bottom, they've got the screw rubber stopper, so these are really going to stay in place. Probably one of the sturdiest of um, salt and pepper shakers that we have in our collection. Now, this is a, um, a bit of a repeat that you've seen on the Sleepy Key Single Network before, but we had to include the windmills in this collection because they are the epitome of um, Delft's Blue, beautiful Dutch design, and, um, you know, the fun and whimsy of a, of a windmill. So, with these, you have working... Uh, windmill blades. That's really what makes these probably the most the most fun in this collection. Each one just has one hole, so you can put salt or pepper in either one, doesn't matter. Uh, you just have to remember which one. Now, the back, you can see that these are Delft's Blue, and they have been hand-painted, um, and they've got, yeah, the quality uh, maker's mark on the back there. And then the front, each of these blades has honestly so much detail. You can almost see the um, wooden slats based on how they've been shaded. They have these uh, gorgeous blue windmill tops and um, rubber stoppers on the bottom and a nice base that kind of fans out, just like an actual windmill would. Uh, so you can swing these around and not worry about the windmill's toppling over. Now, um, let's just go through, recap what we've got in this uh, a really spectacular seven piece Delft's Blue uh, set. So, number one are these gorgeous windmills. We've seen them before, very popular on the Sleepy Key Single Network. Um, and then we have the frogs, definitely my favorite, where you get to pour on the flavor right out of this little frog nose. How cute is that? Um, and then we have our couple, 
the cutest couple that we've had on the Sleepy Keys Tingle Network. One of the cutest, at least. Um, and then we have the clogs. Got to put the right shoe on the right foot. Salt and pepper clogs. And then the beautiful little little pitchers here. Little milk bottle. I don't know. Um, but the uh, handled salt and pepper shakers. And then these lovely, lovely blue and white Delphs Blue large, large salt and pepper shakers. And uh, last but not least, my personal favorite after the frogs are these adorable pigs. I think they're really a standout in this set. Now, So beautiful. All right. Barbara's telling me that we have a call. Is that right? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Call her. You're on the air. Hi, this is Helen calling from Hartford. Now, this is such a beautiful set. I love Delft's Blue. I already have a number of Delft's Blue plates on display in my home, okay. but uh, I don't need this many salt and pepper shakers. But you know what I'm going to do? I am going to gift these to my three sisters, but I'm going to keep the clogs for myself because I love Dutch clogs, and I don't have a pair of Dutch clogs. Well, that's a, a mighty smart idea you've got so, there. So I really love this set. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, we love to hear it. Thank you. Um, well, that's it. This is your Delts Blue beautiful collection available on the Sleepy Keys Tingle Network today for the low price of $29.99. If you call within the next 15 minutes, you are going to get this limited edition pig caddy. Now, Look at that. The two pigs sit in this lovely red and white gingham basket, uh, rather cloth, and then it's a gingham basket. So that can sit upon your table in such a fun and whimsical way. Look at that. They're just they're just peeking out their little their little noses, their little snouts right over the side of that. So adorable, but only yours if you call in the next 15 minutes. Great. All right. Well, don't wait. We hope to hear from you soon.